before telling you some uh, information about the modules and the search of the modules we need to introduce first two of the built-in modules the operating system module and the system specification module so let's start first with an information there is something that we call environment variables and this is something exists in every operating system like windows linux systems mac and so on a variable or environment variable is just a name and a value think of it like a dictionary this is a name of the of the variable and this is its value and typically there is some process like uh, all the programs that you run or the modules that you run may access to get or set some of this information one great usage for that is configuration for example in future please read this uh, link it has a couple of scenarios that are useful for you to know about there are some of the popular variable names in linux for example like the home variable the user variable the bwd for the current working directory for example in python in eclipse in in, in, in the shell in the terminal if you wrote something like echo bwd with this dollar sign it will give you the current working directory one of the very critical environment variables for us is the python path environment variable this variable has a list of directories and in 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 a few sessions we will know that uh, the it, it, there is a primary reason for this variable we use it to add our user defined to modules you have a user defined module and you would like your code to see it and it isn't in your current say current directory or so then and you would like to your project to see it we use the python path to add a directory for this extra module for some path location we add it to the python path we will come back to that later through the os module we can access the environment variables from python and play with them so let's see how to do that um, you can you can here import the os and let's write something like os.env environment okay the os the environment has all of the things related to the environment variables if you wrote something you can th think of it like a dictionary so is the environment dot keys will bring for you the different keys like the path home user bwd and so on to get something something from the dictionary you can do something like oh is the environment home or user or bwd and so on but observe that this is a dictionary and if this item doesn't exist, it's going to fail. So you better use something like .get, which, as you remember, will return a null if this key doesn't exist. There is something that is very important to know about the environment variables here. Remember, we, we already said that the environment variables are mainly something in the, in the, at the level of the operating system itself. So now, let's say I tried to get the key in NNN, which is a very invalid key. It will give us none given that this is a dictionary we can set something i can write something like oh is the environment blah 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 equal only in this session observe that every time you run this file there the, the get will be none again why because this change here is affecting only your local session it doesn't override the system environment variables to do that you have to do it outside python or using something like a shell environment like bash and so on so uh, the 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 messages from here we need the os environment we can get we can set we need to be careful with the get you can change the the environment variables but it will be only in this session only local it doesn't affect the system global wide in the future you might learn about the python.env for some some specification here uh, there are several directories that i would like you to be aware of them and their differences the first one is the environment variables the get path which will return for you the directories that have executables executables like uh, the exe in windows uh, and the executables in, in any anything that you can run on mac or linux the for example typically they will have slash bin paths in linux you typically don't need this uh, environment variable but i want you to know that this path return executables so it is a directory for executables the second one and the actually most important one for us is the python path and as we will learn soon it has also directories but it is the directories that we use for specifying where are our other defined modules the third one is in another import the import assess which is a, like a parameter specifics to the system 
The syspath is a very, very critical system path as we will learn in the next sessions. The syspath consists of three di types of directories. The first one is the script directory. Let's say we are running this script. So the directory that of this script will be in the head of the uh, directory list. The second set of directories are actually copied from the OS the environment get Python path. So the directories from here are the second group of directories. The third group of directories are installation independent. When you installed the Python, there were some paths that Python care about them for its standard libraries and so on. All of them are added here. As you see, sys.bath is a, is a list of directories that are actually very big. It consists of many things that are very critical in, in running your system. A few other information about system module. You can uh, call the dot version function, which say here for me, for example, I'm 3.8.5. There is what we call also version info that can return for you like a information separated this way. There is a platform for me here, Linux, when I run this code. There is what we call sys modules. You will typically will not need it. As an information, this guy has uh, all the module, the names of all the modules, name value of all the modules, since ever you did anything in your machine. So it's something that's very big. It's typically slow to, 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 to print anything. You typically don't need it, but I wanted you to know that this guy has everything since you started to use Python in your machine. There is also what we call a sysprefix, which is a parent directory of the uh, interpreter in uh, installation, uh, and it will have the bins and libraries directories. Um, what else? Uh, we, we, we used to read and write using print and the input method. Behind the scene, this is actually using sys.stdout and sysstdin. If you wrote something like sys.stdout.write, it will print something. If you did this for loop, for loop input in sys.stdin, it will keep reading from the system. Practically speaking, we don't need most of these guys. Sometimes we need the sys.version info. Otherwise, the other guys, we, we rarely use them. Otherwise, uh, there are other two things that are important. The sysbath, and we learned about it from here. And we'll learn later about the sysargv, uh, but the remaining information here aren't that common in practice. I would like to tell you something that is a bit optional for now. You don't need to play with it. We, we learned that the uh, environment variables and Python path are something on the operating system level. So sometimes we would like to change them on the operating system level. And again, the change is one of two cases. Either it is just a bare current decision, and once you close your terminal, the changes are gone, or they are permanent changes. Uh, this is a very common question. Uh, when you need it, just to Google it. If you are facing an issue, just Google it. You will find it for Linux, Mac, operating system, and so on. As an example, for example, if you are in Ubuntu, if you wrote the command print env, it will print all the environment variables. If you would like to get the current value of the Python path, you can write echo Python path. It will give the current value. If you would like to change it in the current session, you can use the export command, export Python path, Blah blah blah. You, you 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 are writing here the old command colon for adding an extra command, and then you are adding the path. It's up to you. Do you like to add it in the end or the begin? The Mac guys also has export command. Uh, and these are links for the permanent changes in the future. That's all.